The essence of the project is really to try to create a whole new community uh, to attract uh, families uh, into city living, to try to encourage people uh, not to leave for the suburbs but to actually see the benefits of living within the city. Today we're here at the new build site at Pollockshaws Road. Um, we're developing 47 units. Um, it's been constructed by McTaggart's and um, it's a very exciting prospect because it's rehoming tenants who used to be in multi-storey flats who have lost their homes due to demolition. The purpose of the project is also to try to accommodate local, local housing needs as well. Um, we have an ageing population so we've been uh, developing you know, homes, homes for people who lived here historically. I am Mrs Jeanette McVeigh, I stay at Riverford Road New Build. You know, when we stayed here before, it was getting a wee bit derelict, but now that the houses are all down and the new build is in completion, as far as we are concerned, it's great. I love living here, it was a community. Everybody knew everybody, your families all knew everybody. It, people with the high-rise flats in Showbridge Street coming down, people were moving away, so you can have lose touch. I love my new house. It's so warm, it's roomy, very roomy, uh, very big kitchens, good sized living room, bedrooms are fantastic and just everything about it is just, is just great. I love it, I love it, I can't say any more about it. <laughs> We've demolished nine multi-storey flats over the last ten and a bit years, um, they're all now down. We were the successful demolition contractor for the uh, structural demolition of these high-rise blocks. Obviously they were technically very, very demanding and difficult, but in terms of, of, of how they went, I think they were very, very you know, successful. We had to, it's a 22-storey block, so we had to progressively demolish them with a the, with the high-reach machine, or, or, or in some cases in the other uh, sites we had to, uh, you know, an explosive demolition. But I like to think we're part of that regeneration process and providing the space for the new buildings. Pollock Shaws was never part of Glasgow historically. It was a village in its own right, with, uh, which had more in common with some of the Ayrshire villages. Um, in the early 20th century, though, it was absorbed into the city boundary, so you had a lot of the kind of character, village type character, you had a lot of historic buildings that, that formed part of that. Up until uh, 1962, Pollock Shaws was really very much a, a village, with a village mentality. Uh, everybody knew one another. There was bags of factories, loads of work. People get bussed in from surrounding areas for the work that was here, particularly in the textile industry. In the 1960s, we, um, the area was completely redeveloped. Uh, so we had 11 tower blocks, uh, uh, deck access development, uh, but the, the buildings became more and more tired. They were kind of completely unsuitable for people who were living here. People liked staying here. Most of the people, when they get married, would prefer to stay in Pollock Shaws. But the house in stock, let's be honest, a lot of it really need demolished. But hopefully this time they'll get it right and return it to a sort of village atmosphere. Uh, so in around about 2006, we started to develop our plans for actually creating the new village. Over the past 10, 12 years, the place has been under regeneration. For the second time in my lifetime, it's been huge changes. The whole of Shaw Bridge Street is in effect wiped out, except for rebuilding like this. And hopefully within the next five, ten years we'll see a huge big change in Pollock Shaw's. Um, I just find it's going to be really exciting because we're now at the part of the regeneration where things are kicking off. Um, the new build, um, our first phase of new build was about three, four years ago. We're now at our second phase and Loretto's come on board, private developers are coming on board and it's just really exciting times ahead. The reference point, I suppose, in, in, uh, in, in shaping the new village was actually looking back at the history of it and trying to bring things back down to a human scale. Uh, so we're looking at um, creating more four-storey tenements, we're looking at low-density family-type accommodation. Uh, it's going to bring a lot of people back into Pollock Shaws, it's going to bring families into Pollock Shaws who maybe grew up here and um, there's fantastic links into town. We've got Pollock Park just behind me. Um, and we've got Silverburn just along the road, town. Everything's got bus links, train links, fantastic area to live in.